All right, so this will be my third flight breaking in a new motor, new engine. I believe I've got uh, four and a half hours on it. Actually, the fourth flight, the mechanic took it up uh, for about a little, just under an hour after rebuilding it. And the first two flights were done, uh, oh, one was early in the morning and one was in the afternoon and I had fairly high cylinder head temperatures. So I've been waiting for a clear morning where I could take the, uh, take it up uh, hopefully with some cool air. Tone Ox traffic, Mooney 74714, departing 20, standard turnout, Tone Ox. And this is future me uh, editing the vi during the editing process. And sorry about that uh, visor being in the way. Uh, the GoPro is actually mounted on my forehead. And, <clears throat> of course, I'm looking under the visor as I'm flying. But uh, I'll try to fix that in uh, future flights. Anyway, enjoy the video. Okay, so we're watching the cylinder head temperature. Climbing out with a fairly narrow climb. It's just at 400. Looks like about 410. Maybe 415. I'd say maybe 420 now. Everything else looks good. So we're cruising along at just over 26 inches, or just under 26, I mean, and just under 24 hundred RPM. And that's supposed to cause a little bit more pressure in the cylinders to help seat the, seat the uh, rings. And I've got about four, maybe a little over four hours flying around with that setting. So the goal today is to finish up the last the last hour. They went five hours with that, and then another five hours squared, all under 4,000 uh, feet. And they want me to be under four, so we can keep the manifold pressure up. And I'm going to lean out a bit. Now that our temperatures are back to where they should be. We're flying north, just past Salem, breaking in the motor, flying at uh, two inches of manifold pressure above our uh, RPM. And so we're just under 26 and just under 2,400. 
everything's in the green. We're running uh, awfully rich. Oops. Normally I'm burning uh, oh nine gallons per hour. It's but because we're running uh, a lot of fuel fuel through to keep the cylinder head temperatures down for almost 13. And then a little... 519 or 7 Romeo, Salem Ground. Runway 34, taxi via Charlie. And a little bit here, we're going to head... Uh, I will do it right now. And towards the Newburgh VOR, and then we're going to turn around and do the whole thing all over again. I'd have to say, breaking in the engine is probably the most boring thing I've ever done as far as flying goes. Okay, so now we got it set on not quite such a wide angle. We'll see how this looks. The GoPro, that is. So, we've been flying for an hour. And that means I have got about five hours on the airplane. Or on the rebuilt motor. So... Uh, the the uh, engine rebuilder recommended uh, the first five hours be flown at two inches above my RPM, and then the next five hours I fly them squared. So I think I'll fly around a little bit more uh, at this setting. And uh, then when I get ready to go home, I think I'll uh, start flying squared. And this is boring. I had no idea breaking in an engine was going to be so boring. It uh, actually wasn't stressful at all. I thought it would be stressful. Uh, but the first time I took it up, it was uh, just felt like any other flight. Uh, I've been purposely flying in areas where if something did happen, I could land in a field or at a nearby airport. But uh, I'm not really worried about it. I just recently bought a KLR. Uh, I've been riding uh, bikes for over 30 years, but uh, have been on the street since I turned 16. And uh, I've been having fun exploring some of those uh, dirt roads. Not these necessarily down here, a little more north from here, but uh, kind of fun to fly over. Kind of look at what I've been riding on. Hopefully later today I'm going to go out and do some riding, although I may have to go into work, which sucks because it's a beautiful Saturday, Father's Day weekend, but uh, got a client with some issues, so... Starting to warm up a little bit. Blow a little cool air in here. So we're still running with cow flaps open in order to keep the cylinder head temperatures down. Uh, I think they're finally starting to cool off a little bit. I'm going to leave them open anyway. Last time I flew, I closed them. Uh, and as soon as I closed them, it started heating up. So we will let the motor break in more before we start closing the cow flaps. This is boring. Salem Tower, Husky 1275 Bravo, 10 miles north, inbound with Quebec. Husky 1275. Oh, I'm starting to get hungry. Hungry and bored. This is my third time around here. 
been flying for an hour and 40 minutes. Everything is running great. I think my uh, temperatures are coming down a little bit from earlier flights. So it looks like I'm going to get a little over two hours in today. So it takes uh, two hours to fly to Spokane, so I could have flown to Spokane from the Portland area. Instead, I'm just making loops around Salem. Hey, so we're heading back to Twin Oaks. Hey, one six, we're at one. Seven now, we'll start at seven. Need to lose some altitude. Just to your... This is my third landing uh, this year, so, and it's June. Twin Oaks traffic, many 714, turning left downwind for 02 Twin Oaks. Point of traffic, RV 6 2 pop, three final, three two line up, we'll stop. Twin Oaks traffic, many 714, turning left base for 02 Twin Oaks. A little fast, but. Oh, I know traffic RV 83 Sierra Bravo is turning final. Not high, three, so that's final. good. We'll check everything. Here's down lights on. Twin Oaks traffic, 9714, turning final for 02 Twin Oaks. further down the runway than I like to be. A little off center, but that was okay. Considering how little I've flown. Get some gas, and uh, that is breaking in the motor.